welcome back. I am Onigato, as ever. And just letting you guys in on a little update. We are going to... This is basically, at this point, just turning into a Let's Play. But, uh, not much has been happening, either. We uh, found out what some of the FPS problem was. Video recording, obviously, was part of the problem. Uh, having too many harvesting and cutting jobs at the same time was not helping either, so I cut back on some of those. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Uh, we did get a new wave of migrants in. Only nine migrants. All of them very actually useful for once. And we just had ourselves a little mood. One of our children was possessed. And created this. Yeah, that's a cat bone battle axe. Go figure. Looking at the description, it is cat bone. So it's an okay axe. I mean, it's an artifact axe, but it's not great. Uh, highest quality, of course. Inlaid with marquee cut indigo tourmalines. Decorated with cat bone, circled with bands of cat bone. Menaces with spikes of cat bone, limestone, sard, rope reed fiber, uh, images of a crab man. I've never, I don't know how the kid ever saw a crab man. We've never seen one. And it talks about how the king came into power in year one, which was a good 65 years ago. Well, 70 years now, I guess. Something like that. And an image of a four-pointed star in buffalo leather. So, yeah. Kid goes crazy, possessed by an unknown spirit, and creates an artifact weapon. Now just to create an, uh, someone who can actually use said artifact weapon. Not happening. Well, not right away, anyway. Anyone may trade. I don't want them to leave without actually getting the trading done. It was crazy. I actually had somebody... I had my broker in the facility for just a moment, just long enough to leave and go to sleep. Actually, he went and got himself drunk first, and now he's sleeping off his drinking. Somebody come trade with these guys. Yes? Yes? No. I may have mentioned that, uh, actually I know I mentioned that I am using the Lazy New Pack now, which has given me access to... DF hack, which is a useful little utility. Okay, I do have somebody finally in here trading. All right, let's see what they can give me. No, I don't need that. But I do need that. That. You know, I asked for a lot of those, and they didn't bring very much. That's not helpful. I still haven't found any on map, which does not help matters any, but I do have now three people working constantly in the wood burning shop making me nice bunches of charcoal I did not realize I asked for so much of this stuff fortunately it's all very 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 cheap the person doing the trading actually has some levels of appraiser, so that's good. Let's see, don't need rope. Well, much 
of it. Cheap stuff is useful. Let's see, I've got the ability to make water skins. Don't need that. I uh, don't need any of those, even though I could melt them down. Cat cages, no. Uh, some rum. buckets. Okay. That's a training spear. That's way too expensive for whatever it is. Training sword, training sword, training sword. Fungalwood, training spear, yes. That, uh, not really. Those are too expensive. That's useful. This was brown bucklers. I don't use bucklers. Nice cheap hood. Decent hood. And some mittens. The mittens are good. Plenty of stuff I can turn into bags, which is good. Do 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 do. Eh. That's an awful expensive bag. All right, let's make sure I can actually pay for what I've got so far. Anything with a little X on it, like that, is worn worth less, but they'll still buy it, and your your uh, dwarves won't like to wear it anyways, so, which is why I am busy making replacements, lots of replacements, alright, I need those splints, those are for the facility, that ropes for the facility, Ooh, I have new socks being made. Cloak. Some bracelets, amulets, bracelets, amulets, scepters. Oh, I do want to sell that. Ooh, I don't want to sell those. Soaks, no, or socks, I should say. Alright. And you can see just why rock crafts are so convenient to sell, because I've got ten bajillion of them, they're worth eight thousand, well, that's after I've already counted out some of the other stuff, so that means I'm just going to be getting myself leather, and cloth, and more cloth, and more cloth, and more cloth, and more leather, And some bins to store it all in. Bins are good. We like bins. No, I don't want just that. I want... Ooh, spider silk. Yay! Right yet, which is 
just fine. We'll make bolts. I have an anvil, which means I can make another anvil. Don't need any of their meat. Fish. Pump helmets. That I will take. Yarn and thread, I will just take all over the place. Uh, too expensive, unfortunately. I would, but it's too expensive. Because I do want to make sure that they are... Oof. Oh, heavens, I would. Oh, well. And that... Uh, so he's a good trader, he's not a great trader. Okay. Let's see, I can go without that. These... That, 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 and that, and that, and... That. I don't want to make him angry. That's one of the cheaper ones. He's not going to care too much about that. That one I'll we'll pull out. As well as that one, because that's all just pig fiber. Pigtail fiber. Uh, I'll see if he's willing to take that. get some of that cave spider silk. Yeah. Oh well. I may have gotten fleeced, but at least I got something out of it. Get some charcoal, petunias, coal, and lignite. I still haven't found any on the map yet. And I'm not really. Oops, no. Uh, don't need a trader anymore. Let's see here. What else is going on? Uh, let's see. Still making some progress on the initial roofed area. Uh, I've decided that I'm basically not going to make this into an actual area for my uh, combat dwarves, crossbow dwarves. I'll just turn this area here into fortifications and maybe put some fortifications like across here or something. I don't know. I am going to still roof in this area here, so that nothing flying can get in. I haven't yet gone through and expanded this area for the uh, poultry, but that is going to happen before they decided to start fighting each other. With the additional waves, yeah, alcohol levels are kind of getting a little bit wary. But, ooh, hey, he woke up. Uh, I did do something. One of DF Hack's little abilities is if you have something that's got a repeating job on it, hit alternate W while you still have it, and you can set it up so that you will, you can set up workflow constraints. So if I ever have less than 300 drink of any material, and I currently have 118, it will produce drink of any material, which in this case means alcohol of some sort. And I can adjust, you know, the range and whatnot. I can also adjust it from stacks to items. 
this case we're just going to leave it as items and there's a way of going in just doing really funky stuff there but yeah let's see what else we got going on the bedrooms are coming along these rooms have all been laid out and turned into actual rooms these two I don't think I've transformed yet, mainly because I just don't have any other beds to put in there, but I may as well. I was waiting until the doors came in. Let's see, that bed I know is set. My doors have gotten a little bit more digging done, as you can see. Not a lot, but a little. For frame rate purposes, I had to cut off some of it. Ooh, what do I want? Uh, I want leather. Can't be too very long before we get ourselves a duchy, but we don't have quite enough people for that. Alright. Uh, we do need logs. Fortunately, they don't have a lot of sources of logs. We need lots of iron bars, steel bars, pig iron bars. That's all I really need from that. Don't ever need stone blocks, because I can just make them. But that's fine. Don't really need any seeds. Uh, I actually am almost done with all my tr building my training spears, so I don't really need anything there. Uh, I am going to need some enormous corkscrews for pumps. picks, but may as well get some imported. Let's see. Dresses, tunics, coats, robes, cloaks, just so people have them. Uh, caps and hoods, so people have them. Gloves and mittens, for the same reason. Socks and shoes. Actually, no, just trousers. Don't need any of those. don't need any of that. There's no use for it. That. Uh, don't really need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I do need a lot of that. You never have too much of that. Of the raw irons. Hematite and no magnetite? Huh, I guess not. Well, at least I can import Yeah. Those two. Uh, I don't really need any bags, but I am gonna go for a maximal on thread. Don't need ropes. Always use more charcoal and coke. Alright, and yeah, I think that's gonna do that. There we go. Okay. One thing I am definitely thinking about doing here in the not too distant future. See my main digging works here as they start looking for stuff. I found plenty of sources of flux stone, mostly 
in the form of limestone, but that's fine. Uh, that's all galena, I don't really care. I do have plenty of sources of hematite and... Maybe it's over here. More galena, more limestone, hematite and limonite. I've got plenty of it on site, so it's not really like I'm hurting for that. But, always better to have more than not enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, Galena is going to be useful too later on, but for now I'm looking for just iron. I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about digging down and trying to find the caverns. Because they can't be too very far away. Oh, right. I did put these in. Dump that. Don't dump that. And don't dump that. Don't want them actually dumping the buildings themselves. Another thing the workflow uh, fix does for, with DF Hack is if you have a job let's say like make rock pot, which I've actually got a workflow for it if I have X number of pots it stops making spare pots for me otherwise if I don't have enough pots I'll make more pots so I can have for some for alcohol purposes but let's say uh, rock crafts here that I just have on repeat I don't actually have a workflow for it because I just want them to constantly be building rock crafts if for any reason they have to 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 stop doing the job, the job doesn't cancel as long as it's got a repeat on it. It just suspends, so I can come back and unsuspend it later. Like here, uh, well, not a good example right now. Let's see, definitely not a good example right now. Nope, not a good example. All my workshops are basically... Oh, here we are. That's, that's Here's a good one. So I had a basic job that turned steel into pig iron. Or, uh, not steel, but uh, turned regular iron into pig iron. Basically just so that I could actually have the next regent towards making a lot of steel. And eventually I ran out of basic iron which, you know, was kind of expected and intended, realistically. So I ended up with 64 pig iron bars just on hand. Uh, had plenty of charcoal because my wood burners are just working constantly. And I didn't have any iron bars, so I, couldn't, I didn't have any of the raw materials to make pig iron. So it suspended the job rather than canceling it completely. Now, it didn't auto-generate the job back up when I actually had the source again, but at least I knew the job existed and it had suspended for some reason, rather than having to go in and manually guess that I probably had this job. And now... <laughs> yes. And now it's going to go through and just constantly cycle through these various jobs. And it will be good. My little stockpile here is good. Uh, so I'll make charcoal. I don't have my metalsmith's forge doing anything yet. Mainly because, again, I don't actually have a lot of steel on hand. yet. Well, it looks like I actually do have eight bars finally. Homemade bars at that. So they'll be... Actually, I could probably put up the jobs to do that. Uh, okay, so, yeah. 
new orders. I need steel. I need steel helms. boots. If you order it to make high boots, it will make a pair of steel mail shirts. I need 30 of. Steel breastplates. I again need 30 of. No, I don't actually need 30 of. I need 10 of. Yeah, it's very nice to have extras, but I only need 10 of for now. Uh, what else do I need? Let's take a look at the uniform. Alright, steel breastplate, 10 count because I got 10 units in the army. 30 count of steel male shirts because, again, 10 units in the army. 10 helms. Greaves and gauntlets. I need greaves and gauntlets and crossbows. Steel. Greaves. Ten count. Steel. Gauntlets. Ten count. Is it crossbows? Ten count, and because I'm thinking about it, and they are really awesome weapons, as well as really good for mining purposes, and because everybody loves them anyways. Enormous steel corkscrews. I will probably need a total of. Let's see. Five Z levels up. I will need five, I think. And if I make too many, that's fine. Now, because they are very... The corkscrews are the last of the priorities. They're just way down here. This, on the other hand, is my maximum priority, because everything else only applies if they are in close combat which they should never be in close combat. But just in case. Alright. Enormous steel corkscrew. Five. Steel picks. Ten. Because that's very low priority. Gauntlets. Okay. Now I've got that job set up. Dwarves have been very industrious. They have managed to finish most of the jobs that were put before them in the way of making well, stuff. And you can see most of my guys have most of their cloaks. I actually think I have enough cloaks for everybody, but not everybody has their cloaks like they're supposed to. Everybody has their socks and their trousers, though, which is good. Otherwise, they can get very bad feelings. Now, they haven't gotten their shoes yet. They would prefer to have shoes, but... Wait, do I not have... Oh, yes, I do. Okay, good. Did I put all of that in? Greaves, gauntlets, high boots, helms, breastplates, crossbows... And some spare picks. Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, 152 dwarves in. Uh, Lazy New Pack has me capped at 152 dwarves. So I will not be getting any more yeah, emigrant waves. Basically, as long as I have over 150 dwarves. Nobody's there. No 
injuries, no illnesses, nobody, nobody even really hungry or thirsty right now. Uh, stocks are pretty doing pretty decently. Kind of hard to tell what's here because, well, somebody's here. But our kitchen. Uh, so our ki that that kid had his little freak out, and in the process, I needed to butcher some animals. Uh, had a reindeer on hand. It was pointless to have, so I just butchered it, along with some cats, because well, cats. Uh, we got seeds of plenty on most of these. Um, I do have it set up so that only farmers can actually harvest so they gain farming skill twice as fast they plant and they, they harvest a farmer with a really high farming skill when he plants a single seed he will get more out of it let's see uh, we're not brewing our pigtails we're not brewing our rope reeds we need them for other things Not allowing them to cook with any of the alcohol because we can always use more alcohol for other things. I don't know why I don't actually have any cheese, but that's fine. Tallow levels are fine, and they are laying eggs like nobody's business, so we're eating eggs. Actually, I want to make sure that. There's the kitchen. Uh, we'll take that one out and lavish meal. So I'm going to show you what Workforce does here. Uh, with it on, I want to hit C to cancel this lavish meal. Because it's got a repeat on, it just suspends it. But I could cancel this easy meal completely without any problem. Lavish meal turned up back on because, well, I need it on. There we go. Unfortunately, with 150 people, they're drinking alcohol at a pretty prodigious rate, so making it a little bit more difficult for me. set up, I just don't have any storage set up for them. Okay. Since the only thing I want to be in this particular storage set is Rough Gems, because I don't want them to store the, the finished product in here, uh, just the rough product, finished product can be stored up in the main storage bin uh, upstairs. I just want the just the rough gems in here. Alright. Other than that, we are st I am still on a bit of a holding pattern. I just wanted to let you know about, mostly just let you know about the uh, rather impressive axe that came out and some of the minor updates. The Danger Room is getting close. I need another, well, let's see, 50, total of 80, but I probably got some of those. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yep. Training spears, training spears, training Crazy training spears, not going in. Okay. Done. Okay. I'm actually going to change this job. Whoever's got it. There it is. From 
this to... Because I know I need 70 of them now. I can only do 30 in a group, but that's okay. Actually, I don't even need 70 of them. I've got one in the queue and three in stock. six on top of that. So I just need 36. And there we go. Once Doc has had a chance to uh, sit down and readjust the books, he'll be able to get that taken care of. entirely eliminated the cancellation spam for missing seed bags, but with the seed bags only in bags, not in actual barrels, that's helped out tremendously. Um, I'm not running sound sense, so my FPS is actually a little bit better than the last time I was actually doing recordings. Still not great. The more I mine out, the worse it's just going to get. I already know this. This is it's called frame frame death and or FPS death, and it just happens eventually. Let's see, where is what is leader doing? no job. Well, then where's he going? Uh, he's going to conduct a meeting. Okay. That basically covers that. I mean, even when I'm not recording, frame rate is pretty bad. Um, it's basically in the the mid to high 30s, which is bad. But what I'm going to be doing is basically completing the roofing project here, completing walling this in, and then roofing it. I'm actually going to build a set of walls here instead of floors. And basically just wall that right there with a single opening here. Uh, put a floodgate there and link it up. And then just kind of let this uh, probably put hatches right across the there once I actually have. Yeah, I might do that. I might just go three wide all the way. Don't know if my pumps will be able to keep up with that, though. Good question. Actually, I could just probably go three wide to, like, here, put hatches. That'll give me a little bit of reservoir just for the shower system. That'll work. That'll be my mega project eventually. When I'm done with it, I will have a set of walls going out at, down here. Doesn't even need to be roofed over. Doesn't even have to have a blockage at the end. Because nothing can get in through here. These grates, completely indestructible, basically. Nothing can target them from below, which is weird, crazy, 
probably going to put fortifications down, like, right there anyways, just, you know, for carefulness. But, yeah. We'll set up a set of walls going across the entire length there, and feed the water back into the stream. Pump the water up and out. One, two, and eh, probably only... I only need to bring it up to here, really. So, two Z-levels up. Well, three Z-levels up. That's not too bad. And just pump it into the fountain there and be done with it. Uh, basically, that's what we're looking at. I mean... Once I've got the, the the shower in place, I'm going to, to all intents and purposes, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to clear out everything that, and just make it so that, you know, all the walls are intact against anything that's got an outside edge, uh, except for maybe like right there or something and just turn this into an internal tree farm and area to store all my animals eventually uh, the geese and such, just put them over in here somewhere with a really really big pasture area maybe even two or three pasture areas and just like the, the, the nesting box is like right here or something so that they're really easy to access the nesting boxes. Um, and then just open this entire area up, and then breach the caverns. Because once you've breached the first layer of the caverns, if there's even one plant in that naturally growing in those caverns, it will start to grow anything, anywhere you have sand, silt, soil, anything like that. So it'll do that, and then we'll be good for that. Um, let's see, anything else going on special right now? Well, that's basically the plan. Uh, I'll let you guys know if there's anything comes up, we're, but we are at the point where uh, Fortress is stable. I haven't seen any goblins yet. I'm really actually kind of wary of that. Do I even have a civilian burrow? I do not. I should add one of those. So one, thing that I, one of the things that I can do is set up a special burrow. Civ or Just kind of give it some definition. thing you can do is you can actually extend the burrow beyond the, the lines of, of walls, unlike for a zone. Uh, and it actually works really well to do so in a lot of cases because, I mean, let's say I have the burrow is all the way to here. As my if I if I order my miners to dig this area out, and I have everybody in the Civi Wars burrow, they wouldn't be able to dig it out. Well, they would be now that I have it here, and the, the burrow exists even though you can't see it underneath there. It does exist. The game is able to keep track of that. So Civi burrow, I want that. I'm going to remove the stuff that is actually outside because that is dangerous and I'm not actually going to dig this area out any I don't have any reason to uh, currently painting again I don't really have any reason not to do that okay and that's as far up as that so burrow is going to go for now I don't really need it to cover 
for much down here. We definitely don't want it going outside over there. That's fine. And then I can just kind of go through and just paint the civilian burrow across all of that on that level. and then figure out where my bottom is. Okay, I know all of this is safe. And that's what basically what this is. This is the civilian burrow is f to mark off areas that I know are going to be safe. of an attack, I can go into my military screen, set up an alert, I want to add one, uh, to name it, Civi War. Whenever I activate the Civi War alert for my civilians, uh, all my civilians are going to be limited to that burrow. They will immediately go to that burrow, they will not go out of that burrow, and they will just stay inside that burrow as long as they can. Which is really, really good because, well, yeah, if I'm having to go into civvy war, and all my civ if I have my civilians in civvy war, then something's gone wrong. You know, I've been attacked by a vile force of darkness, goblins or goblins or somebody else or whatever. And if you'll notice the Civi War burrow does not extend out to here past this point. This is so that nobody is right by the bridge when I need to pull the bridge lever. Is that noted? That is not noted. Note text. Uh, main gate lever. It is actually linked up. Yes, okay, good. And you just saw he has demand for a billion door. Uh, can I even make billion? I know I can make a billion door if I can make billion. Because billion is just a form of metal. Silver, copper, Silver ore, copper ore, silver nuggets, or galena ore. Tetrahedrite can make it just raw. Okay. Now he wants a billion door? gets a billion door. Let's go ahead and set that up. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh I don't think I've hit any tetrahedrite. That could be a problem.
actually. I have some gems I can give them. Uh, I don't want to give any of that. I won't mind giving them some of those, though. Okay. And trader is requested. If I'm not mistaken, I think they actually have some billion just lying around. I will need copper. I can get the copper from tetrahedrite or galena. right now, but come on. Okay, people are moving the stuff, so that's good. Oh, shut up. Of course there's nothing to catch in the damn swamps. They're not connected to the river. there. Well, they're all in place. Good enough for me. <sighs> Alright. No, he doesn't want those. He wants... Well, that's not good. Uh, hematite... No. He does not have... Something middle billion? No, but he does have some copper stuff. Billion is made out of copper and silver. I have Galena to make the silver. I will take everything that you've got that's made out of copper. I will melt that stuff. Socks for you, thank you. Some trousers, though. Uh, limestone amulet. Scepter. Some junk I don't really care about. Another scepter. Some more amulets. Yeah, we'll just make you really, really happy, King. More happy that you just stuck around. Cause that stuff is worthless. Absolutely worthless. And you guys just buy it up. Ha ha ha. Yeah, they'll just buy my junk. Nobody can do anything with. And I just love it. Actually, I might get some good stuff out of this. Okay. Wait. Oh, really? Okay, good. Do 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 do. You know what? I seem to remember I wanted. Oh, for heaven. 
table six. It's all mixed in now. How'd they get those? I sold them to them, I guess. Let's see, I don't need any of that. Definitely don't need any of that. All that junk stuff is not for me. Cloth. You'll probably be happy with about 1500 off of this one. That might be too much to hope for. That, on the other hand, you're probably going to be fine. Okay. some stuff that I can dump, or I can melt. Uh, oh. Copper battle axes. Well, I can melt these. That'll help. Melt the crossbow. Melt my copper picks. Oh. Yeah, melt those just out of general principle. Training spears, lots and lots of training spears. Those are all controlled and owned by the dudes, so yeah. Uh, da -da 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 That's all their stuff, so no. And I don't think I'm going to see anything else to be out of. No. Let's see. Nope. That's copper. part, he's been okay about not requesting crazy things. Now he's requesting crazy things. I may have to de-promote him. Let's see. Uh, of course, they own the... Oh, no, wait, those can be melted. Just melt every living daylights out of those. Or, no, I can't. Weapon racks, cabinets, doors, floodgates. I don't think I have anything else made out of. Yeah, I don't really have anything else made out of the stuff I would need to do so. Chains? Nope. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Toys. Melt that, melt that, melt that. Oh wait, that's bronze. I don't care about that. Uh, milk. Not that. Okay. Tools. Anything in here that's actually... No. Musical instruments. Copper drums. I can melt those. Suspend every job except for melting metal objects. And now that I've set those metal objects to melt, they'll melt them down, and then we'll have a billion, and they will turn that billion, or they, well, the rock crystal. 
Rock crystal is useful for other things. set up. I don't want to interrupt him while he's doing that job. So, good news is I managed to catch the traders just before they left, so now I have basically everything I need in order to be able to get that billion door. See that there is a biome shift here. You can sell that's you know soil. That's actually stone of some sort. If I go looking at it, another thing DF hack does is, is mouse look without having to pause and actually look. Sand, limestone, limonite, hematite. I might have to dig down in order to be able to get tetrahedrite. Actually, pretty easy to look, figure out where I need to go in order to find that. It is... stone is it found in? It might be found in all stone layers. can't tell. That's fine. It's not that critical. Yeah. Stop looking at that. And more pink jade. Where are they digging right now? Oh yes, they're digging right here. This is where I found the Galena in the first place. Alright, I 
should be able to. Uh-huh. Uh, not quite. Okay. That's fine. They're either still transporting them or whatnot. thing I should probably have done and did not is set this up to block all economic petunias colon lignite. So if I'm going to store the stuff, I may as well store the stuff close by. Since flux stones like limestone are so common throughout this entire embark site, I don't think I'm going to build a stockpile just for them, even if I do want it to be close. I mean, if it becomes an issue, yeah, I'll put one down, but I don't see it becoming an issue. I really don't. It's going to run, and it's going to run pretty much on its own at this point. If I was to let it, of course. I'm not going to. I'm crazy. I play Dwarf Fortress. I'm not stupid. Letting it run by itself would be a really stupid thing to do. It looks like most of these beds are getting selected and lived in now. Do have some married couples, which gives me a lot better chance of being able to just stash everybody where I need. Oh, well that's useful. Okay. Uh, one thing I did do on the uh, room, the door is not pet passable, unlike the other basic bedrooms. The danger room is a little too dangerous for pets, because pets tend to die in there really, really quickly. Okay, a lot of these are single room sets. Oh, the dog's got a room. He'll probably be upgraded eventually. Okay. Another thing that DF Hack does fix is my hospital. So, I didn't have to go through and empty out the chest. It really did just only grab one job of thread, one job of, cl of cloth, splint, crutch. I don't have any powder for casts yet. Should, probably. It does have a bucket just for the, just for the hospital area. I need to start making soap. But... The, the DF hack actually made it so that it only did one job. It didn't spam a bajillion and a half of them. So that was helpful. Let's see here. I'll probably end up deconstructing all of these, or at least a good chunk of them, in the next little bit. What are you two doing? He's waiting, he's conducting a meeting, but not... Okay... No idea. Okay. They 
should be meeting, but they're not. Oh well. Ah, there they are. Okay, so I want all that stuff. Yes, I know I want that stuff. See, we've got a large percentage of my population is just ecstatic, very happy, and happy. I don't have anybody who's not in some form. Look, guys are content. Why are they content? They shouldn't be content, they should be happy. this guy? What is his job? The cheese maker. Slept without a proper room. Eh, he's still in the barracks. That's fine. He's barely even 16, so whatever. 102... guy was something other than a farmer, now he's just a farmer. Yeah. Costed by vermin. Tired, slept without a proper room. Yeah, when they're sleeping in the barracks, there's not much you can do about it. Oh, there we go. Or sleeping in the hospital for some reason. Hey, I like that guy. Girl. Her and her baby. Okay, that's right, I only have them doing a set, so that's fine. I don't care about a set. Let me suspend. Can I make a billion yet? No, I can't. Well, I might not be able to unless I smelt that at least. saying they can't milk stuff. There's stuff to melt. So melt it. Oh, yeah, promote this. 
it's designated things to be melted, you can melt things that have been designated to be melted. So melt them. Okay, well... I think at this point I'm just going to let it run. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.